No other country has such limited agricultural land to produce food for so many people. And the population of Bangladesh is still growing, while the amount of agricultural land available is shrinking. By 2020, Bangladesh will have to feed 200 million people. But every year, over 60,000 beakers of agricultural land is being lost due to urbanization and degradation. The equation doesn't look promising, even without factoring in uncertainties such as climate change or other shocks. Knowing how much food is available in the country is becoming a critical question. কমতি আছে এই জিনিসটা আমরা নিরূপণ করতে পারি কোন তথ্যপত্র ছাড়া কোন পরিকল্পনা করা কোন কাজ করা আসলে খুবই দুরহ ব্যাপার উদাউট এগ্রিকালচার স্ট্যাটিস্টিক্স আই থিংক দ্যাট উড বি এ কেয়স দি গভর্নেন্স অফ দি কান্ট্রি উড বি এট স্টেক ইফ দ্য गवर्नमेंट ডাজন্ট হ্যাভ গুড ডেটা ইটস 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 ড্রাইভিং ব্লাইন্ড দে नीड टू हैव गुड इंफॉर्मेशन बिकॉज दे डू मेक डिसीजंस बेस्ड ऑन इट गेटिंग बेटर क्वालिटी मोर टाइमली मोर एक्यूरेट इंफॉर्मेशन इज ऑबवियसली you know a big factor in you know helping government to make better better quality decisions and those decisions affect everybody agricultural statistics are measures of production of over 100 commercially important crops in bangladesh measuring the amount produced and the area of land used the information also includes whether production is rain fed or produced with the help of irrigation and how much fertilizer is needed Agricultural statistics also include measures of trade in food commodities to establish a food balance sheet for the country. Agricultural statistics help the government to decide how much food will be produced in the upcoming year, how much food should be stocked, how much subsidy is needed, and how subsidies should be targeted. If the government needs to buy food or inputs like fertilizer on the international market. The statistics are there there are dashboard like on a car. You, as you're driving, you need to understand how the car is going, and in a way, the government is is needing that kind of information when it's uh, trying to ensure that the food production system in the country continues to work, that the food is being produced in in, in the right way, and that the, all the people have access to food, uh, and that the food is available in the market. So, so think of the statistics almost as the as the dashboard that help you steer and guide and, and direct the, the car. When we talk about agricultural statistics, we refer to uh, crop estimation on the forecast system actual crop statistics livestock statistics fisheries statistics and also want to have accurate information on the actual production of food actual uh, stocks of the food and also the the price scenario i think and all these things help policy maker to make adequate policy in the first place on the agricultural development issues and also to to farm up a food policy for the country the ministry of agriculture has over 12000 people working in the field at union level one of their tasks is to gather information in the field and send it in for analysis the bangladesh bureau of statistics or bbs has designed the method used for collecting and analyzing agricultural data but bbs and the ministry suffer from lack of budget lack of equipment lack of modern information and communication technologies and there is a widespread need for training and the crop statistics are one of the better organized areas other ministries such as fisheries and livestock need external help to conduct surveys overall the system of agricultural statistics need to be harmonized and modernized the problem in bangladesh is uh, there has been uh, a need of modern equipment there has been a need of uh, funding so that we can train uh, the people who are uh, working on the field as well as uh, people who are working at the headquarters level Well, the, da- the dashboard in Bangladesh really mainly features the basic production number, the actual basic output of agriculture, which is probably analogous to the the speed of the of the car. But I think that you also need to look at the other uh, indicators that we we're mentioning, other indicators such as the environmental impacts of agriculture, the ha- household, the diet of, of people, looking at the, the changing diets, looking at the uh, income and expenditure of, of household household level. These are all. other indicators which need to be put together with the the basic production the basic output of food the basic availability of food so uh, in terms of developing capacities in the field of agriculture statistics we we look forward to assistance from development partners 
uh, funding is the funding is needed in order to uh, improve the equipment, improve the software, improve the capacity of the people working within the Bureau of Statistics and also in the line ministries to come together to produce these statistics that, that help us make better decisions to create these these indicators to improve the quality of these indicators. Shotik Shonka Shotik Toto Shopsumi Shotik Shitan Dikini Jai Mung Shay Juni J at the Gamda Jaman digitalization coachi আমরা চাই এফও সেই ব্যাপারে আগায় আসুক যদি এই কৃষি ভিত্তিক সঠিক পরিসংখ্যান ব্যবস্থা থাকে তাহলে আমরা আমাদের পরিকল্পনা সঠিকভাবে করতে পারব এবং আমরা আমাদের অভিষ্ট লক্ষ্যে পৌঁছতে পারব the need for good data is for Bangladesh is really really more pressing because you've got a population of 150 million people that's still continuing to grow and the, the, the production and productivity of food is absolutely more key for you than it is for almost any other country in the world Population density of around about 1,100 people per square kilometer makes it the most densely populated place on the planet. And so, the, the the food system for the food system to be able to feed all of those people, you need to have a very very good uh, set of information to understand whether this is happening or not, whether people are going to go short of food, and uh, any slight shock, whether it's a price shock or a weather shock or a, or a cyclone or a storm or a drought or whatever, can really knock that system off balance. And I think that that's why you need good indicators. Of, of the food production system, more so than perhaps other countries.